What's up, nerds and nerdettes and wee little nerdlings all? To your buddy Big John and G, the Two Gun Pixel presents Legendary Gaming! <laughs> Alright, welcome back to another Midday Monologue Monday. And, uh, you know, this one, I, uh, I don't often like to sound negative. And it's fairly easy since most of the games I get, I kind of pick and choose. But every now and then, it's something I don't like. <laughs> so why don't you join me down at the table, and I'll tell you three games that I'm done with. And another happy Monday afternoon, everyone. So this time, as I said in the intro, I'm uh, going to have to talk some, not some smack. I'm not here to troll. But there are games that I actually am done with. Well, that's great. That's just fucking great, man. Now what the fuck are we supposed to do? We're some real pretty shit now, man. You finished man. Game over, man. It's game over. So, there's three of them, actually, that came to mind fast enough uh, when I thought of this as a possibility for a midday monologue. And uh, the first one was so far down, so far down in the stack, I didn't even feel like pulling it out to physically hold up here and show you. So this will have to do. <laughs> yeah, Zooball. Now, I, I love Osprey games. Uh, this is one of the very few games that they've put out that just does nothing for me. And I hate to say that because I genuinely love the company so much and I look forward uh, to seeing what they have coming out next. You know, constantly have that feeling. Of what's, you know, what's coming out next by Osprey? And uh, uh, this was not for me. It's bottle caps. It's really all it is. And the, 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 the felt field? Horrible idea. Because it never really completely... I mean, I guess maybe if I put it in the wash, and it just occurs to me now, uh, might, and then dry it flat. Might be the only way, but how many times can you do that? And then, you know, fold it up and put it back in the box. And like I said, really all it is is bottle caps. Just a flick, flick. I mean, that's... Flick games are a little bit big. I don't get them. But if you do, maybe maybe you'll like Zooball, but I'm done with that. To me, it felt like just a lark of a game, you know? If, if, if this game was a story written by a 1940s short story writer, it'd be a pot boiler. That's all it is, just something to keep the water boiling so you can keep eating while you're working on something real and big and great. But, like I said, you, you might like the game, but not me. Well, that sucks. Now, these are in no particular order, which is why you haven't seen a number up here. Uh, really, there's no particular order, just how I, I grabbed them or how I just wrote them down, actually, I should say. So this next one is funny because it recently came up it recently came up in uh, in another video, and I've I've gone back to it, and I'm not there. I'm not. You know, I I I, I thought maybe I could hold on to some bastion uh, of liking it, and I thought that at the time, honestly, including it in the list would I don't know make make it more honest to me, which. All together is red flags. But I tried the game again. Solo is just barely good enough for me to just keep it on the shelf for now. But what I'm talking about is Tiny Epic Zombies. Yeah. Now, uh, I didn't want to double up on this list 
this isn't the only gambling game, and actually before that wasn't the only Osprey game. I, I didn't want to double anything up. So if you're like, John, you just said something else. Don't worry. I'm sure there's going to be another installment of this. But for now, yeah, tight, nice box, right? Nice spot UV, sure. The artwork is great. I'm digging it. I'm just not digging playing it. <sighs> I had so much hope for this. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm tired of zombie games to begin with. I think, why? Whenever I hear there's a new zombie game out, why? It just, and I know every board game can, you know, can get like that. Like, pretty much a lot of fantasy board games can be categorized as why, in the sense that they're all the same as each other. But zombies seems even more so. It seems more glaring when you're talking and dealing about zombies and zombie games. They're all the same. And this is no different. It has a lot of different modes, has play modes that not every uh, zombie game has. You know, including the option of a player being the zombie lord, as, uh, as I like to call it. The, 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 I, forget, I forgot what they call it. The master zombie or whatever. I don't even know anymore. I knew when we first did it. No need to stick in my mind. It's it's very railroaded. Uh, it's very it's very hard to... You can't. I mean, you're, you're stuck on this path uh, as far as the zombies go. And yeah, they can start to get overwhelming. But if you do a little bit more zombie control than you think you need, you're going to stay on top of this. And you're going to very easily be able to anticipate where they're coming next and cut it all off. You know, I and, and I forgot which of the 20-sided warriors said this, Ryan or, or, or T-Bone, I can't remember, but it's still true. As the player in the game, I never felt like I was going to lose. I never really totally felt in danger. Way too easy. So, I'm done with this. And then, you know, the sad thing is, the sad thing is, this game wasn't, from what I've read so far, does not seem as well received as some of the other Tiny Epic games. About as well received as, uh, as, uh, uh Kingdoms? No, not Kingdoms. Uh, the Dark War uh, expansion game, which I had to do a second edition of, which is, I like it. Some people say it's better, but I think that's what they're going to do with this. I think, you know, this is a waste of my money because they're going to come out next year uh, with second edition. And it's going to make me feel like I just, like I said, just wasted all my money. Hmm. Las cucarachas entran, pero no pueden salir. No, sir. He doesn't like it. All right, now the last game, the last game um, is weird because I really don't consider it a game. It's a card game, but I don't really consider it a game because there's no real game aspect to it. Uh, and that's Skybound Games' Super Fight. <laughs> so basically what Super Fight is, uh, is you... Oh, did I have this one backwards? I don't <laughs> Very OCD. There are, uh, there are cards that you pick, uh, such as uh, you maybe uh, get a kindergarten class, and your opponent is going to get a pirate. So a kindergarten class versus a pirate. All right, now let's jive it up a little bit, because then each player is going to get two sort of conditions that they're going to be able to add on. So now it's not just a kindergarten class. Now it is a uh, fire-breathing, jetpack-wearing kindergarten class. I mean, yeah, this sounds fun. And I'm not trying to take that away from it. Well, meanwhile, the, the, the pirate is really a... Uh, he's a pirate swinging a shark on a chain while riding a Segway. Yeah, quite the visual. So, yeah, this game is fun. And I, I do kind of have fun playing it, but it's not a game. It's just a box of arguments, really. And if you have a very... I hate to use the term. I really do. But if you have an alpha gamer, that's it. He or she's pretty much winning every time. Regardless of how right or wrong everyone at the table thinks that person is. And forget it. In a two-player game, you're just going to get completely, completely run over. Now, I mean, I, I have some of the, some of the sets. Uh, like the orange. You know, I picked that up when I first got 
the super fight. It just adds in a lot more nerdy stuff, like Captain Kirk, and Freddy Krueger, you know, just things from nerd pop culture. And then I got the locations. If you're going to get super fight, at least get locations with it. Because that's going to just jump things right up there. You know, uh, where these fights are taking place. So it, it's, it's fun. It's okay. But I'm not spending any more money on it. No, I'm not. And I'm only going to play it by request now. That's kind of how I feel about Tiny Epic Zombies also. Only by request. There can't be enough requests in the world for me to play Zoo Ball again. Bye, Felicia. So, those are the three games I'm done with. Thank you for checking us out on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter. Thank you for heading over to our Zazzle store and taking a look at some of our fine merch we have over there. Our gaming merch. It's heavily RPG, uh, D&D inspired, but... It's all fun anyway, and uh, check it out. Maybe you like something. Maybe you'll see something for a friend. Maybe you'll see something your dad like. And, uh, you know, right over here, right here, 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 right here on YouTube, my friends. Thank you for watching our videos, for liking, for commenting, and most of all, thank you so much for sharing Two Gun Pixie. I'm your buddy, Big Johnny G, and I am... I'm out of here! <laughs>